Today we're going to create this exploding text animation. You have letters flying all over the screen and then bring them back together to create some words. There's a lot of different animations you can do with this. We can spin, flip, rotate. And also I'm working on this new tool. Hopefully I'll have something to show you guys maybe in a few weeks. Um, you can kind of get around and play with it, but it's going to take a lot of the different things I've been working on from some effects, some scripts to some workflow automations. Try to, I'm going to try to put this all together in one, um, one kind of package that it's really easy to access and can help you with your video editing. I'm going to show you how to set up the Fusion animation manually using nodes, and then I'm going to show you how you can just push a couple buttons and have my tool generate the Fusion animation for you. Um, this is just an experiment. It can generate some really complex Fusion animations, so it should be really interesting once I get it up and running. All right, so let's take a look at how to have some text and explode it out and then bring it back together. Let's start by building the exploding text animation manually. This is the hard way. And then we're gonna use this kind of new concept experimental thing I'm working on to build the whole thing in just a second. Um, so let's get started. We're gonna take a background node and connect that up to the media out. And let's put that in the viewer. All right, so this is a text animation. So we're gonna use the text node. So take the text node and drag it into the node area and take the output of the text node and merge it right on top of the background. And let's put some text in here and adjust the uh, font a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good for starters. Now that we have the text set up, we're gonna use a transform node with a perturb modifier to get everything to shake and fly around. With the text node selected, hit control space and search for transform and add that in. And this is where we can use the center position to move things around. So right click on center and choose modify with, and we're going to choose perturb. And with perturb set up, the text is going to shift around based on the perturb settings. To adjust it, we just need to click modifiers and there's an X scale and a Y scale. If we want it to go faster, get it to fly around just by adjusting these settings. We're going to use the strength setting to explode it and then pull all the letters back together. Okay, so we just need to make sure the perturb is set up um, with all the correct parameters that you want for the animation. We'll just, we're just going to go with the default for this. You can change this based on what you want to do. And we're going to take the text node, select it and copy it and hit control shift V and that's going to paste an instance. So that's going to allow us to um, change the color of the text and it's going to change everywhere. And we're going to take the output of this and merge it right in there. Okay, so we have two DaVinci resolves. So we're going to use the strength setting to turn the amount of perturb on and off. And to get the, te the text to fly back in, we just take that strength and pull all the way down. But we're going to be using a lot of transform nodes for each of these letters. Let's set up an expression to do this. We're just going to take a transform node right here and we're going to rename this, hit F2. We're going to just call it Annie for the animation. And we're going to go to the transform one modifiers and we're going to right click on strength and choose expression. And we're just going to set this to be Annie.size. So let's go take a look at just the this one text right here. So to change the amount of the perturb, we just have to reduce the size. And as we come down to zero, the animation will go back into the middle. So this is going to take all our letters and squeeze them in tight. Hit the merge two, and you see we got two there. So the second one is not moving. So we're going to take this transform node. Let's copy the transform node, click the second text, hit control V to paste it. And now we have both of them kind of moving around, but they're moving at the same, both of the texts are moving, but they're moving together because we've copied the modifier with the same perturb. So we just need to go to the second transform, hit modifiers, and then hit reseed, or just change this random seed anywhere. That's gonna get them moving around each with their own pattern. The next thing we need to do is go to the text node, and let's put both of these kind of in the middle. So let's take the, uh, the size and bring it down. You see they're squeezing in toward the middle. Okay, so this first text, let's take a look at that. So we just want this one to have the D. And the way to do that is to come into the right on property, and we're gonna move this all the way back to where the D is. And let's go to the second text, and we're gonna want this to have the A. So we need to de-instance this group. So we're gonna right click on right on, and we're gonna say de-instance group, and that's gonna allow us to change the right on for only this text node. And let's take a look at the merge. And now we have a D and an A moving around together. We're gonna to adjust the size to get them to move faster. And then we can kind of bring the size in to bring them back down. To do this animation, we need to continue this process. I'll do a couple more letters here. We're gonna hit the copy. We're gonna copy the text, control shift V for an instance, control shift V for another instance, merge them in like this, merge this one in. And then we're gonna copy the transform and we're gonna paste it onto that text, paste it onto that text. And let's go to right here. And this is going to be D-A-V. So this one, we're gonna have the V. So let's scroll down and we're gonna right click on right on and say D instance group. And we're gonna slide this over to where the V is. And we're gonna do the next one. 
right click on write on and choose the instance group and the next letter is going to be the I let's put that in the viewer take the size and bring it back up so we have the perturbs working and the AVI is going together and that's where we need to come into the transform go to modifiers and hit reseed and that's going to change the animation for this one and we're going to do it for the, the last one here and reseed and so we're going to have each of the letters going around independently so we've done four letters right now and then we can take the, the size and bring it down and all our letters will slide right in together so th that's how you that's how you can do it it's kind of a tedious process you got to go through letter by letter or word by word or whatever you're doing now let me show you how we can use my new kind of concept this is really just an experimental thing i'm working on to um, the idea is to be able to generate animations based on some parameters that do a lot of the work for you and make things go a lot faster in Fusion or if you're setting up any kind of editing. Okay, so I brought up the tool and this is what's gonna generate the Fusion animation for us. And again, this is just an experiment. Um, I'm just kind of playing around with some of the different tools. I'm gonna be able to really create a lot of interesting things once this uh, once I get this thing going. So we're gonna remove all of this. Let's uh, get rid of this animation here. We can put in whatever we want to here. And we're gonna make this a multi-line thing. I'm gonna put a... Uh, Okay, so it's gonna say animation, text letters, crazy, DaVinci Resolve. And uh, there's some other rotations I'm gonna show you here in a second, but well, let's just do the regular perturb. You can set the speed, wobble, X scale, things like that. And once you have it ready, all you gotta do is hit insert fusion and it's gonna build a full fusion animation for us. And let's take a look. And it goes around like that. And the same thing, what I've done is I've, I've had this animation control here and we can take this and just slide the size in and it'll bring all the letters together to make our text. So let's uh, go ahead and put this right, right in here. And what we're gonna do is just, just real quickly keyframe this. I'm gonna set this to one, go over a little bit, slide it back down to zero, and that'll bring the letters together. So we have an animation that looks like this. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let me show you some of these other things that we're gonna be able to do. So you can check, I have a, this one actually puts in a DVE node. Let me show you right here. I'm gonna just basically, this is all in a group. But let's ungroup this so you can see what was built. And right there. So it generated this animation for us. There is a one of these stacks for each of the letters and it does the whole thing. Okay, let's delete everything. Okay, so we're gonna use the same letters here. We're gonna just do a, a Z rotation on these. And we're gonna uncheck the perturb and let's change some of this easing here. And we're gonna take this and just insert the animation. And it created the uh, animation for us. And this is, on a, this is what it looks like with the Z rotation on a DVE node. And let's do it. Let's do a bounce on that and that one. And we're going to throw it. Let's go ahead and throw the X, Y, and Z rotations and the perturb. We're just, we'll do everything here and see what happens. And then we can do the same thing with uh, words. So let's, uh, instead of animating the letters, we can animate by word. And let's take a couple of these off here and create this animation. All right, we got a little hiccup there with the R in the text, but we can, we can work on that. Okay, so here we go. We got the fusion animation, um, and I'm going to show you how to I'm going to show you how to explode it out and then bring it back together. And we're going to use that size control to do this. So this is the animation that that my tool generated. Let's uh, just right click on this. We can ungroup it so we can see what's going on. And we're going to go to the size control, um, and that's this uh, animation control and the size property. So we can just animate this, and we're going to have it done. This is just using the perturb. So basically, each one of these transforms has a perturb on it that's having everything fly around. All right, so to explode, to explode the text, we just need to animate the size property. So we're gonna start it at zero, and let's go over about 10 frames, and we're gonna bring it up to one. We're gonna to go toward the end of the animation, and we're gonna set a keyframe, and then go, all, go to the very end, and we're gonna bring that down to zero. So what we have is it's going to explode out, it's going to kind of letters are going to bounce around for a while and then when it gets to the end they're going to come all, all come back together and now we just need to adjust the easing curves to kind of make it a little bit nicer so we're going to take these and we're just going to flatten them out and you can play with these a lot to get some different effects okay that's just a real quick uh, thing of some of the experiments i'm working on i thought it was kind of an interesting animation so i wanted to share it with you guys um, hopefully we'll have a, maybe a kind of a preview of this app coming out pretty soon. Um, you can kind of get around with it and play, play with some of the stuff that I'm working on. It's got a whole lot of really interesting things in there. Um, I'm excited about it, so uh, hopefully you guys will like it. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or ideas, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.